Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. If you're so inclined and you get just a second, please go down there and hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification icon next to it. That'll help you get notified when I release new videos. It'll let YouTube know that you're a human that's interested in EDC content. And it'll help me, allegedly, get the video in front of more people, and I'd really appreciate it. Um, today, I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about the rabbit hole that I have gone down. Not the slip joint rabbit hole, but the small fixed blade rabbit hole. Um, I have been collecting small fixed blades and carrying small fixed blades pretty much on the daily. And a wonderful human in the community had picked up a couple of these on a Kickstarter and knew that I was kind of enthralled with small fixed blades and I'd been showing a lot of them off on the channel and he was nice enough to send me this. So this is a gift from a fantastic human being that's in the community that we all know and love and it'll be a forever knife in my collection for that reason besides the fact that it's also a really cool knife. What this is is this is the Knight Enterprises Hummingbird. It is the brainchild and the design of Jason Knight of Forged in Fire and of all the blade shows that we go to. But this is a small, little, aggressive looking. It's got a nice harpoon style blade with a nice swedge here. It's got a nice recurve blade that's very, very sharp. It is in Aus 10A, and it's got this nice deep stone washing on it. It's got G10 handles, and the G10 is done very well. And it's got Torx hardware, um, again, full tank construction, a little light jimping right here below this harpoon. So I can really lock in three fingers into this knife with no problem and then I can get a fourth finger that'll just trail behind it. But for opening packages, for a small little secondary knife, this little thing works very, very well. It came with this kind of plastic sheath and it came with a belt, um, little rectangular mounting system that you could either rotate it and carry it scout carry or keep it long and put it on your belt. I'm more of a minimalist. So the way that I will carry this knife most of the time is just simply sheath it up, drop it in my pocket. It's got great retention in the sheath. The sheath comes out of there really easily. There are also a couple of options. If you guys use Ulti Clips, you know I'm a big fan of Ulti Clips for my uh, little fixed blades. So you could easily mount an Ulti Clip right here like so. And then when you put it down in your pocket, you could actually clip it in. So it would give you a lot more retention than just having it as a pocket dropper. Another way I carry my small fixies is to use a leather or one of these IFB straps where you can go in, you take this off with a screwdriver, you mount it here, you mount it here. I would probably mount it right here. Once you mount it, the snap comes on this other side, so you can literally snap it shut and then wear it through your belt loop. I would carry that appendix carry with one strap. You could put two straps in there, but there's really no need when you're dealing with a small knife. But again, for me, the way I like to carry it is just drop it in my pocket. The Ulti Clip is a nice way to go, and I'll show you guys kind of the methodology behind that. So Ulti Clip comes with the clip, it comes with the mounting hardware, and it comes with this little uh, washer grommet type thing. All right, we got a Phillips head. Torx, here's a Phillips head. I didn't plan on putting an ulti clip on this guys, but we might as well. 
So let me think here. Do I want my grommet on the back side or on the front side? I want my grommet to go between the ulti clip and the nap. Once we get that in there the way we want it, well, I'll just tighten those down by hand and then I will cinch them tight and we'll explore the versatility and joy of an ulti clip. I use these for holsters for my pew pews. I use these for larger knives. This is the smaller ulti clip, the Slim 2.2. So now, keep in mind, I wear this in my left pocket because I carry my primary folder in my right pocket. So what this allows me to do is unclip the ulti clip like so put it down into my pocket inside my pocket like so and then clip that down and then you've got a clip that won't come out of your pocket that's what whoops that's what an ulti clips designed to do so they are a little stiff they're not as stiff if you're popping it out but you literally adjust that to where you want it to stand out of your pocket and since it's a fixed blade I don't want it to stand out far then you basically get it to the hem of your pocket lock it down and it's not going anywhere so ulti clip Another way to carry these small fixies. Is. Put on this little loop. Show you guys how that gels. I picked these up, the Ulti Clips and the Loops at Amazon. The Ulti Clips are going to run you 13 to 16 bucks a clip, depending on which one you get. The Loops are going to run you right around 12 bucks for two. Um, you can also go to EDC Roundtable and Brother Joe Lancelot Leather for about 20 bucks, I think, make some really cool little leather straps. The leather straps I think are really boss because they just look good. You can get them in different colors to accent your sheath. But so with this little guy, what we are going to do is we are simply going to put it on here where our snap is now facing the top. I like to get it cantered just a little bit and then I just hand tighten that right I'm not making it super super tight 
and see this little divot in the handle here that's where you want to push down and that's where you want to pull out so that when you're going to snap it down now it's snapped in place it's not going anywhere and now I can run my belt right through so wear it up in my appendix and I don't even know I've got it on so guys that is different ways and I'm sorry I went off on that tangent that is my squirrel brain and it apologizes to you all but now let's do a couple of quick size comparisons and get this wrapped up so you guys can enjoy your evening so again the little Jacob Knight Knight Enterprises Hummingbird is a small knife I want to say it's right around five and a Let's see how it compares to knives we might be familiar with. This is a Bradford Guardian 3. The handle's gonna be a little bigger and the blade's gonna be much bigger. This is my J-Cal. Handle's gonna be bigger and blade's gonna be bigger. Let's look at it next to the Bradford G Necker, which also has an ulti clip on it. It's a little smaller than the G Necker. And let's look at it next to the S90V Chickadee. And it is just a tad bigger than the chickadee. So guys, that is the Knight Enterprises Hummingbird next to the Jacob Creates Chickadee and the Bradford g -necker. All right, now we'll take out our Ben Peterson Little Ruler. And we'll find out that our blade is right under two and a half inches. Our handle is right over two and three quarters. And our overall length is right under five and a half. I'd say right around five, four, seven, five, four, eight. So guys, it's got a handle that's coming in well under a half inch point three seven eight and the blade stock stock is point one two six but again you've got that full tang os ten nice little harpoon with a great little finger hold you've got this wonderful bead blasted Aus 10A, which to me is fine for this little knife. Very sharpie knife with a recurve. Nice little sharpening choil there. Um, nice G10 handles. The handles are held on with T6s, it looks like. Which, I don't know why you'd ever take these off. But yeah, guys, this is the Knight Enterprises, a.k.a. Jason Knight, Hummingbird done very well nice little kickstarter i was blessed because it came into my life from a kind individual thank you you know who you are but guys again if you've been here this long please hit that subscribe button please hit the bell notification icon feel free to leave a comment give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down most importantly please look out for the guy or gal to your left please look out for the guy or gal to your right move forward with love in your heart Choose debate before hate. No, I love you all. Peace.